From its infrastructure to culture, South Korea embraces technology like nowhere else. This is Keith Kim, entrepreneur and tech blogger. He's been witnessing firsthand the rapid changes happening here in Seoul. I honestly believe that it's, it is the future city of the world. Korea has the fastest internet in the world. Number one, number two, we'll take it, right? The government invested into internet infrastructure 20 years ago. So now, because of that, we have all this infrastructure to have the fastest Wi-Fi. In the late 50s, South Korea faced financial struggles. They'd just come out of the Korean War that ended in 1953 and had quickly become one of the poorest countries in the world. To turn things around in the 80s and 90s, the government pumped a lot of money into future-proofing, spending billions of dollars building a fiber backbone to bring broadband to every school, office, and home. Conditions were perfect to create a small ecosystem for tech to flourish. Government backing with healthy competition, a dense urban population, and a culture ready to engage with tech, making it near impossible for other countries to mimic. That culture of Koreans being ingrained in technology has been around for well over like 25 years. In less than a decade, it went from a 3% internet penetration rate to more than 75%. And in 2017, they hit the top spot with an average internet speed of 28.6 megabytes per second. Not to mention free Wi-Fi just about anywhere you go in Seoul. It's awesome, you can connect anywhere on top of a mountain, inside caves and still connecting and still at like super fast speeds. Dazzlingly fast internet speeds changed Korean culture. Online gaming soon became a phenomenon. PC banks or PC gaming rooms to you and I sprung up all over Seoul. PC Bang is a place where you go and play games, right? And what I think it shows is that PC Bangs have been around when I was a middle school student, you know? And that, that was in like 1999. You'll go there, you'll have the fastest computers, the fastest internet, it's fun. It's a fun place. South Korea is now home to some 25.6 million gamers. That's almost half the population, not to mention eSports. But all this quick progression has come at a cost. According to state data, on average, smartphone users are playing games, tweeting or chatting for four hours a day. Hoping to bring back some balance, the government has recently pivoted focus to cultural spaces, creating breakaway quiet havens around Seoul. You know, because if you're staring at your phone for eight hours a day, there's, you know, it's going to turn to mush. This is definitely an effort to be like, hey, you know, slow down here, here's a book, and. You know, enrich yourself for a little bit. The Starfield Library consists of over 40 foot tall giant bookshelves. This is like one of the building blocks of, of the future. You know, you, ha you have buildings like this, but they're going to be popping up all over the place. South Korea has managed to transform itself into one of the richest countries, from less than a century ago being one of the poorest, and it's not slowing down. Modern day Koreans are still holding on to that concept of like, Okay, we gotta move forward, we gotta move forward, we gotta constantly improve, we gotta go get it. This is just the beginning, and honestly, in about like 10 years, I'm not gonna recognize it. 